Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today it's all about baby nap extensions. So if you're stuck with those 30 minute little cat naps and you know it's just not really working for your little one, stick around because I'm going to reveal how you can overcome that and extend those naps for quality sleep with your baby. Okay, so let's delve into this topic. I love this. So many babies are overtired because they're not getting enough nourishing nap time. Now, don't get me wrong, newborns will often nap for little segments at a time and then we'll snatch little power naps and that's okay. And I would take a 30 minute nap over no nap any day. So if you are stuck with those, it's not the end of the world. It is better than nothing. But this is really for somebody who is ready for the next step now, who perhaps is still struggling with these 30 minute naps beyond six months in. And you're like, yeah, I really do think my baby is capable of a bit more now. And I can see that it is actually not really serving them very well to have these short naps. So this is for you if you know that it's actually time now to improve that because for some people it's okay as it is. Right, so what do you do? 30 minute naps. Okay, the first thing I wanna tell you is the usual reason for the 30 minute naps, once we are you know, somewhere between four and six months or above, is the fact that they're not settling for the nap. So the onset of the nap, we call it sleep onset, the onset of the nap is kind of happening to them rather than them doing it. So what do I mean? Examples of that. If your baby or, or little one is in a pram or a push chair or in the car when they nod off, the motion has lulled them off. Okay, so there's very little effort on the little one's part. And we all do it. How many of you have actually gone, right, let's get them in the car at this time because I know that they'll, they'll have a nap now. We've all used motion to get naps to happen. And that's okay, it's a brilliant backup plan actually. It's a great backup when you're like, okay, I need to get my little one to, to sleep now. Let's use the motion. Uh, however, if that's the only way or always the way, then they are not developing the skill of falling to sleep because they're not practicing it. And when I say the skill, it's really just a sensation. It's, it's the body going, okay, I'm going to lie down here. I'm going to close my eyes. I might look around for a bit and then I'm going to go to sleep. It's, it's the ability to do that comfortably without crying and freaking out. And the reason babies often do cry and, and seek help is purely that they need the help because they don't know how to do this instinctively from birth. It's something they learn through practice. That's a fact. Some learn it more easily than, than others. Some um, parents teach it accidentally and don't know they're even teaching them anything. Um, but quite often, if your little one is having little 30 minute naps, it's because they're not responsible for the sleep onset. Now, what happens when that happens? Another one could be, perhaps you've rocked, 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 put them down asleep, done that kind of ninja move of, okay, they're asleep and sneak out. 30 minutes later, they're awake and crying. It's because they didn't put themselves too sleep. So they've, they've stirred. Now at 30 minutes, 40 minutes, what's often happening in a sleep cycle, which is more like an hour at this stage, um, at around 30, 40 minutes, they're shifting from deeper sleep into lighter sleep. Now, what we want them to do is go into the lighter sleep and carry on and finish off the light sleep and then tip into the next sleep cycle where they go back through and then into a deeper sleep again. And we want them to knit those cycles together. But what often happens when we get those 30 minute wake ups is that as they're transitioning, almost like coming up through from deeper sleep into lighter sleep, instead of progressing through that and round, they actually almost kind of fall out of sleep and they're like, oh my God, I'm awake. Whoa, what, where am I? What's happening? Where are you? I'm all alone. And naturally they cry because they're confused, they don't really know where they are, and they either don't want to be there, or they're like, Bo, I want to be asleep, I'm really tired, what, why am I awake, this is annoying, ha help me somebody, I need to get back to sleep, and that's quite often what that cry is saying. And we all go in, swoop up the little one and go, oh, that was just half an hour, brilliant, and then we go and do something really exciting with them, when all they really wanted was to go back to sleep. So knowing that can be really helpful because then you know how to approach the wake up at 30 minutes. Okay, um, so the, the reason for 30 minute naps is probably the sleep onset, okay? So in order to fix that, we want to work on how a little one settles to sleep. And I have lots of videos 
all, all about that on here. So have a look around for those because um, it's an in-depth thing to talk about. Um, now, the other thing you can do is know what the ideal times are for the naps and how long your little one can be awake between naps. And I've mentioned this in recent episodes because we've been talking all about overtiredness. And this knowledge is seriously power because it, all the skill in the world you know, a, a baby that can settle themselves to sleep contently, um, you know, not like lightning, I'm talking, if you put them down and they zonk out, then that's not really a self settle But more than five minutes, up to about 15, you know that they're doing it for themselves, okay? Um, they could have all the skill in the world, but if you try to get them to nap at a time that doesn't work for them, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. Um, so knowing the ideal times and the ideal weight windows at their age is gonna be really helpful for you. And then the last one really is about, actually I have two more things for you. Um, one is about create the rhythmicity which is a bit like a routine, but I prefer the concept of rhythm, but creating the rhythmicity in that lead up to the nap settling. Um, so setting the scene, preparing them for a nap, creating the, the routine so that they, they recognize it. And it, it becomes ingrained in the body clock that they know that maybe it's after, after nursery, I go home and then I have my sleep or however it may work for your routine. Um, and then lastly, practice one a day if you can, um, more if you want to, but if you could try and make it a priority that just one nap a day we're gonna do in the cot or the crib um, in their usual sleep environment so that it becomes familiar and recognizable. And even if it doesn't work out, even if it goes horribly wrong and you end up going, right, okay, that didn't work, so off we go in the push chair, that's okay, that's fine, because that practice did count, that practice did do something. And even if it didn't prevail on that occasion, I promise you that if you do this every day, there'll come a point where it gets easier, easier, and then they nail it. But they're never gonna get to that stage if you don't practice. If you go, yeah, I tried it once, it didn't work, and then you didn't try it again, well then it's, it's not gonna happen. So just practicing goes a very long way, I promise you that. In my next episode, I'm going to be um, talking about the clock changes for the fallback clock change. So I would love to see you over there um, if you would like to know all about that one. Um, in the meantime, with this overtiredness, if you're struggling with this, please do reach out to us at The Sleep Nanny. And right now, today, for free, there is a link here with a resource that you can use now to help start improving your little one's sleep. You can get a custom sleep plan um, and, and just get started because there's no time like the presence and you need your sleep. Take care and I will see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.